In June this year, I travelled around the mountains of the Philippines for an entire month and I decided that it would be the perfect opportunity to go the whole time without using my phone in order to really develop my discipline and also enrich my experience there and really allow myself to be fully present and able to enjoy the travelling experience. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the positive benefits I found to doing this one month no phone challenge. Now before I did go on this trip, I had been considerably cutting down my time spent on the phone. I've deleted social media for years and st since April of that year, I had stopped watching YouTube videos. Despite that, however, I was still sinking countless hours into using my phone and using my phone had become just an impulse, an urge I had from the moment I would wake up and any time I had an unoccupied moment. I knew it was detrimental rationally, but I still continued to use my phone in an excessive manner and this was really making me feel like a digital slave. So starting with my 18 hour flight to the Philippines, I completely stopped using my phone and during the flight I just rested, did some reading and just sat with my thoughts and meditated. No mindless scrolling. So throughout my month in the Philippines, I had a strict no screen and no media rule. I was only using my phone very, very occasionally for absolute necessary tasks, like if I needed directions somewhere or if I needed to book, book a bus ticket, but that was it. So instead of sinking time into consuming media content and mindlessly scrolling, I was exploring the picturesque small town of Banawi in the mountains of the Philippines. I was spending quality time with my girlfriend and I was doing a bit of reading and journaling when I had downtime. Now after a few weeks of this protocol, I was gradually starting to feel that the digital world's grip on my brain was loosening. I no longer felt the urges from the moment of waking to use my phone when I had a spare moment. I no longer sought constant stimulation and dopamine fixes. Instead, I was able to appreciate stillness and a tranquil mind. It really was eye-opening to see how conditioned my brain had become to constantly seeking distraction whenever a free moment arose. Now this really taught me how much we adapt to our own norms and can completely miss that we're operating in a really suboptimal state of functioning. Our phones and the internet in general really give us the potential for limitless amounts of dopamine spikes at the cost of essentially no effort. Indulging this really hooks your brain and just conditions it to constantly crave that dopamine fix that it knows it can receive from just going on the phone. Once I had broken that cycle, I found that simple, normal, natural activities became all the more enjoyable now that my brain wasn't constantly seeking for instant gratification. I could really appreciate walks in nature to a higher degree than I thought was possible. I also found that my ability to focus on productive tasks significantly improved both during and after my month without my phone. Those sudden impulses you feel when trying to work to check your phone or go on social media had really started to evaporate and I was able to enter a consistent workflow without distractions constantly arising in my mind. Now another benefit I really strongly felt before and after this month without my phone that I never see talked about is that my thinking became a lot more original and authentic. Using your phone pretty much always involves passively consuming the thoughts and beliefs of others, whether that be via news articles, YouTube videos, or just regular social media posts. This influence can gradually erode our own thoughts and authenticity, turning us into regurgitators rather than independent thinkers. Many ancient philosophies like Stoicism and Buddhism that are extremely successful promote discipline over desires, well-directed thoughts, and striving for mental tranquility. Yet we can clearly see that modern phone and social media usage really contradicts all three of these principles. Excessive use of these fosters erratic, impulsive thinking and trains us to always seek instant gratification. To continue to yield to these impulses despite knowing their detriment reflects a weak will and lack of self-control. Now, despite the positive experience earlier this year, I myself have slipped back into bad habits and I'm currently using my phone a lot more than I should be. But starting today, I've decided to regain control and start really, really minimizing my phone to the bare minimum usage. I really believe that our phones massively reduce our potential in life if we allow them to control us too much.